Hey guys, it's me, a little farfetched, and welcome back to the Pokemon Light Platinum Nuzlocke. Which today we're gonna go over the team. So we've been doing a little training off episode, and here's the team. They're all level 16. We have Chammy 2, the Charmander, with the move Dragon Rage is the new move. We have Shinx, Zap, the Shinx level 16 with a few new moves. We have Brave, the Staravia level 16. And we have Totodile, who's going to be named later, but it didn't give me the option to name him when I first got him, so we didn't name him. Today, hopefully, we'll be taking on the next gym. I don't know for sure. But this game keeps on giving me a lot of healing items, so I'm afraid. This stream has to put one in it. I can't see inside. Hey, you! Hold on a second. What? Are you fetch? Yes? My name is Red. I'm a trainer from Kanto. Professor Oak and Professor Jasmine told me about you. Come here for a second. I have something to show you and a present for your journey. Look at this tree. It's different from the others, see? All this food on it means that it has Pokemon living inside it that you won't find anywhere else. And all you need to do is catch them. It's headbutt the tree. Use headbutt now. This technique will help you catch many Pokemon. I'll give you the TM that contains it. Well, unfortunately, I don't have Pokeballs right now because I can't get to another town. Well, good luck on your journey. I'll be around for a little while in the Zeri League, so maybe we'll see each other soon. Hopefully, we're at the next town soon. Okay. So, if I really want to, I can just sweep this gym coming up with Charmander's Dragon Rage. I mean, there's nothing saying I can't. But the thing is, I have no clue when we're gonna get to the gym. Silicoon. And Shinx and Charmander will evolve the next level. So we'll have two evolutions, hopefully, today. So we'll come again. If they do evolve, which they hopefully will. And hopefully we'll get the Pokeballs soon. So I can add more team members to my team instead of just the few that I have. Because I do have, I think, two or three in the PC just waiting there. But I'm not going to use them because I don't like Pidove. And I don't remember what the other one is. Combi. Also, Dragon Rage will be great for later on whenever the levels are just high enough to survive it. Because if I want to catch a Pokemon, I can do that. Easier. With Dragon Rage. Because last time I ran out of encounters. And then run out of encounters. I ran out of Pokeballs. And I would have had another flying type, which. At this point, once. If I do lose my entire team, I have another flying type to. to deal with. I got another Pokeball. Well, that's good. But I also. I just want another Pokemon. Like, I'll take another flying type, but it means I can get another Pokemon on my team. This is why Dragon Rage comes in handy, because Dragon Rage is the best move early game. Sonic Boom is the best move early, early game. 
but Dragon Rage is double that, making it just the best move. And P. Yeah, so Charmander should evolve up for this fight. Definitely. I think I'll level him up and then we'll switch to Shinx. Whoa, Fanfy actually survived that. Man, Fanfy. Next is ooh, Shinx versus Shinx. It's a battle that we're gonna fight. It's a battle of the Intimidate, too. See, that's why I did not go for that move, because it does nothing. Except for maybe Paralyze, that's not... That's not good. And finally, Spiro. I actually hate this Pokemon as well. Just because of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, I hate this Pokemon Spiro entirely. Because it seems like the only thing that would show up for me shiny would be Spiro. Like, yeah, it's a shiny, but when it's the same shiny hundreds of times when you're hunting for something else, that's no. Until we can get him healed with a switch of the toe out. Hey, have you seen the combi on this route? I'm sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Jessica, the leader of the city gym. In first the first gym in the Zeri League. In fact, I just wanted I was just my way to challenge you. Well the gym is closed right now due to very serious crisis. The combi that naturally inhabit this route in the woods are acting strangely and attacking people for no reason. They've always been gentle and well behaved Pokemon, but something's happened to them. You found any combi, let me know. Thanks, Fetch. Go Vespa Queen. Oh. If we encounter any Pokemon on this route, we have to catch it. There's a combi. Would a combi be a static Pokemon? to deal with this. Ooh, can I get another Pokeball? That's a potion. Why are they giving me so many healing items? Are they expecting me to lose? I guess I'll just keep Teladal out. At least, at least, I've got Pokeballs for an encounter, which is better than nothing. I'd rather save the Ultra Ball for something good, but I also need encounters too.
Like, I'll definitely use it if I have to. I think Totodile might have ulted today too if we get it leveled up. That's if we do give it leveled up. Cascoon! Speaking of bug types here, I don't know what my favorite bug type Pokemon would be. Like, I never really thought of all the good bug Pokemon. I don't even exactly remember every single bug Pokemon. The bug type's not really my favorite type. I mean, the type that I love the most is super effective against Bug. Oh, there's Ethan! Hello, Fetch. Finally, our second meeting, as I promised. Let's have a quick battle. I'm stronger than you might think. I didn't think I'd be fighting you, and now I don't know what to do. I could always just speed run through this with Charmander. Like if I have any trouble. Like that, for example. I can just speed run through this. Perfect for this one. Wrong attack, but still. It's gonna do nothing. And it burned, which is not good. But luckily, burn does not do damage outside of battle. That's the one thing I have to worry about now when it comes to outside of battle. Is that poison will kill you outside of battle. And I never have to worry about it in Brahms because... Like, I'm fine if it kills me outside of battle because I can just go to a Pokemon Center and really heal. But... This is... A Nuzlocke, which would kind of not be good for your Pokemon if he doesn't survive. Okay, that's not good. If Totale evolves in this episode, though, that'll be good.
I think he'll evolve after this. Or not. Now he'll evolve. Ha. Very good battle. You really have some talented and well-trained Pokemon. And look at that. Totodile is evolving. It's none other than my third favorite Pokemon in the entire Pokemon game. Croconaw. I actually hate its final evolved form. Uh, Frogator, I'm pretty sure I've said that before in an earlier series. But yeah. Crocodile is actually my third favorite Pokemon after Hoja and Farfetch'd. Well, I'll be training more so that I can beat you. Wait and see. I'll be much stronger next time. I'm surprised I haven't caught my Pokemon on this route yet. We're we'll probably definitely take on the gym next episode if we can even get to the town with the gym in it. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm kind of burned. These attacks increase, that's not bad. This is gonna take it out. Look at that, I can tell the future. I know for a fact that this Pokemon has an electric move. Right now, it's got Shockwave. So I'm not going to send out Toto or Brave. I have to get used to calling them by their nicknames names because it makes them more attached so when they faint, if they do, then it will seem much more sad when they do. Surprised, I think this is the latest we've done a gym in this entire fan games that I've been playing. Episode. Three? And we've yet to take on a single gym yet? I think this is not the exit. <laughs> Looks like I found the hive of Angry Combi. Ooh, that's not good. My beauty is being lost on this horrible place. Only a battle will warm my heart. Yeah, I know. I'm clicking on the keyboard, not the mouse. Wait, what am I doing? That's the wrong move. Although they did do a lot of damage, I have to admit.
I bet just by the end of this episode we'll be out of the forest. Gonna stay out actually. I know Charmeleon's gonna be the highest level Pokemon on our team. But you know what? That'll help us get through the game without dying. Pokemon are very strong. Yes, they are. Well, I mean, Charmeleon at least is. Okay, now I have two Pokeballs, which is good. I can get an encounter on a later route. Speaking of encounters, what do I get? So, we're saving the Pokeballs. Because this thing's not worth it. I'll catch anything but Wormpole right now. I don't need to Wormpole. Okay, Charmeleon, do your stuff. Okay, that's not good. Oh, that's also a problem. Good thing I have a solution to that. And it's called... Switching over to a different move and start using it instead, like Ember. Better I could also switch to like Brave or something, but no. Okay, maybe I will. Nincad is an amazing Pokemon. It's got one of the most creative evolutions, where it evolves into two different Pokemon. Yeah, Ninja Shedinja sucks when facing a fire and or flying type. But nevertheless, it's still a cool concept. And there goes Brave. Well, it looks like we're having to use our revive already. Thank you, Shinx. Exactly what I needed. Okay, okay I actually need that Pokemon. I need Brave. So, I think it's... A good choice to use the revive now. No! How? I almost just lost another Pokemon. Oh, this game hates me. What the heck? 
Hold on, hold on, can I switch to anyone that will survive? Yes, Zap will survive. He should survive. Good. Perfect. This is even better because now that I'm super effective on it. Okay, okay, no, don't, don't, don't do that. Yeah, there's a reason why this game gave me so many healing items. And now I'm confused. You know, it's fine. It's fine that we're confused, because we're not going to get hit with the confusion. Watch this. We're going to hit... ourselves... I don't know what to do. I can't keep healing. And yeah, the off chance I hit an attack off on him. There's no way one attack is gonna kill him. Or maybe it does. Good job, Zap. You survived. Okay, sure, I'll definitely learn that move. And, of course! Why wouldn't we have still another Pokemon left to defeat? episode here. Depends on what we have left to do. This is not good. At least I got all the evolutions done for this episode. That I could have. But this is not good. Let me just heal up. I don't have any status restoring moves. If I did, I'd be using them, but I don't have any. Let's just see, if we can get to the forest without encountering another trainer, then... I'll get to the forest. If not... Then... I don't know what to do. I definitely believe there's another trainer coming up. And with my team as damaged as it is, there's no way I'm getting through this forest. Maybe I should have cut Wormful. Is that the end of the forest? Please, I swear, if there's a trainer battle... Just to say, if there's a trainer battle right outside the forest... Touch, look, the Kombi have invaded in Horror City, and practically shut it down. See for yourself. Please, don't make me fight anything just yet. I want to heal first. 
Look, they're being vicious and attacking people for no reason. The villagers are hiding in their houses. That's great, that's great, that's great. Can I get to a Pokemon Center, please? Is there two gyms? At least I'm here. At least I'm to the, the town. I think that high of these combi art is from... I think that high... That the high these combi are from is in Inhor Woods. I'll go there now and reopen the gym when the matter is resolved. I'll definitely follow you. I definitely, definitely will. I just need to heal first. Okay, if all these combi are static Pokemon, I will count one of them as a Pokemon I can catch, and hopefully that's going to be a female, because that'll be the only Pokemon that can evolve. Oh, this thing's angry. Okay, it looks like I don't have to encounter them, and I can go get some potions. Yeah, there's a second gym. Oh, it's the university. Excuse me, I kind of need to to get in there. Can I at least head to the next route? Thank you for telling me that, sir. I don't know if I'd be able to survive if I go head out and deal with the combi now. I'll try. I'll try. I don't know for sure, and I'm really worried, but we already lost our five. There's a lot more that we could lose, like an entire team. Already, and we don't have six Pokemon to deal with having a full box, so I'd have to train all the way back up to this point in the episode with a whole new team. Not a whole new team, so I'm probably going to catch about the same Pokemon, I'm guessing. You know, I should have at least caught Wurmple, I just realized. Because then I would have at least had a Pokemon waiting This is Team Steam. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This is ridiculous. No, you know what? We can do this. We can get to the hive and deal with this mess. Because I'm tired of having to go back and heal. I'm not afraid. We're gonna win. We're not gonna lose a single Pokemon at all. We're not even going to get close. I know technically Croconaw is illegal because he's not nicknamed. But you know what? He's legal in my heart. And technically, he's legal because I couldn't name him. There was no option to. A member of Team Steam defeated? Impossible. Our boss will be very angry. Okay, maybe there's a little bit too much to deal with. We're at a good stopping point anyway. I think I'm gonna train up a lot in between episodes. 
so we can deal with this mess and deal with the gym right after. Probably get up to level. Because mm. my Pokemon will stop obeying me if I get up to level 20 and over. Maybe that's only for trade Pokemon, I think. I don't know if that is right or not. I'll see if that happens. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys. Hold on, let me save, actually. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.